on the same weekend as the world famous Glastonbury Festival. I've joined over 20,000 people near the South Coast to find out what happens when festivals and faith come together. This week, Glastonbury founder Michael Evis reveals his love of Methodist hymns. Globetrotting singer Martin Smith performs a much-loved worship song and we're in festival mood with hymns and songs in the great outdoors. Despite sometimes unpredictable weather, we in Britain love our summer festivals. And I'm at a different kind of festival, one which features Christian music. So this event here at the Big Church Day Out has only been running for four years and already it's attracting thousands and thousands of people and I think they're enjoying themselves, aren't you? Churchgoers of all backgrounds from all over the UK have descended on this privately owned country estate for a fun-filled celebration. I used to go to a lot of festivals like Grastonbury, Reading, but I really enjoy being here because the big difference is worship. It's, it's good and the weather's lovely and there's lots of things for all ages. We thought we might be a little bit old for this, but we're not. We fit right in. I mean, it's great to be a small part of such a great event that so many people get so much pleasure from. I find it very entertaining, the music, worshipping, praising God. Over the years, Songs of Praise has ventured outdoors with the crowds in the sunshine. And so we're reflecting that in this week's Hymns and Songs. Our first one comes from the glorious Lake District town of Keswick. Jesus is the name we honour.
Big Church Day Out was set up in 2009 by musician Tim Jupp. His goal, to celebrate Christian unity. Music is an amazing, amazing vehicle across the world, across cultures, across generations to gather people together. So it's the really the music is the vehicle to say to the church, let's come together and celebrate. Tim began his plan with a visit to the owners of this estate and discovered they too were Christians. He was looking for a site in Sussex. So he said, could they use the, this land? Because there was 15,000 people, huge area. They needed a huge uh, site. And so um, he said, great, lovely, start, away we go. In four years, the festival has doubled in size. It's wonderful to have so many people on the land uh, praising God and uh, being together. I always believe a prayerful footprint is probably the best fertilizer for land. And the big church day out has now found support in very high places. Your coming together shows that through music and prayer, you can listen to that still small voice of God. And I can only hope that this big church day out is as enjoyable and fruitful as possible. What's your 10-year plan for this place? Well, my plan is to see this event here grow, maybe double in size. We've got acres and acres of space to use up here. I think we'll maybe have some other events, maybe another one in the UK somewhere. And I'd love people to bring more and more friends to the event. And I think what's so important is that we often read in the press that the church is in decline these days. And I think big events like this are an amazing way of showing to the church and those outside the church too that maybe there's a different story to tell. Come all you vagabonds, come all you don't belong. Winners and losers come people like me. Travelers tired from the journey, come wait a while, stay a while, welcome you'll be. Come all you questioners, looking for answers and searching for reasons and sense in it all. Come all you fallen and come all you broken, find strength for your body and food for your soul. Come to the feast, there is room at the table, come let us meet in this place. With the king of all kindness, he welcomes us in With the wonder of love and the power of grace The wonder of love and the power of grace And dreamers and schemers And come all you restless Just searching for home Movers and shakers And givers and takers The happy, the sad The lost and alone Come self-sufficient With wearied ambition And come those who feel At the end of the road Accusers, abusers, the hurt and ignored Come to the feast, there is room at the table Come, let us meet in this place With the king of all kindness who welcomes us in With the wonder of love and the power of grace The wonder of love and the power of grace The wonder of love and the power of grace The UK's biggest music festival is Glastonbury in Somerset. It began in 1970 as the Pilton Pop Festival with a crowd of 2,000 people in a field belonging to local farmer Michael Evis. You're going to have folk and, and rhythm and blues and so on. Yeah, and pop as well. I'm interested in the whole field of it, really. Today, Glastonbury is a multi-million pound event covering 1,200 acres and welcoming over 170,000 festival goers. On a hill overlooking the site is Pilton Methodist Church, 
the spiritual home of that same local farmer, who after 43 years is still organising the festival. I think most people thought I was mad. But on 43 years later, it wasn't such a crazy idea, was it? I wake up every morning feeling pleased with myself, I must say. Why? So, well, I just feel I've got a good number going in. I've been at it for years and years and years. I was born in the right place, I suppose, in this beautiful village on that beautiful farm and everything. And now we've got the music as well, you know. It's unbelievable. Michael's Methodist roots have always been a driving force behind his work. It's very close to all the stuff that I've been doing here, really, with the non-conformist tradition, you know. John Wesley said that, that really religion doesn't work without social holiness, that was the phrase. What do you mean by that? And social justice for all, you know, sharing the earth's resources, sharing the fruits of the earth and all that kind of thing. And it is associated with the Sermon on the Mount and all the stuff that Jesus was, uh, was, was really campaigning for. Uh, the faith in that, that's my faith, I believe in that creed and that holiness. And, and that belief in actually doing something with your life that, that will benefit the rest of the people that you're sharing your life with. And this Methodist chapel's been in your family for 150 years. Do you still come here? Oh, yeah, every Sunday when I fail. And I really enjoy singing Methodist hymns on, on a Sunday morning like nothing else. Isn't that extraordinary? It changes you, doesn't yeah, it? And I've got you two rolling sounds yeah. and all that going on down there. Um, I enjoy singing the hymns, though. That, but it's really weird, isn't it? In the midst of all that busyness, mm. do you ever get a time just to stop and reflect? Not until it's all over. And when it's all over, everybody's gone. I walk down through the fields, and, and, and you can uh, so feel the atmosphere in the fields. It's, absolutely, it's unbelievable. 